next question. Uh, how do chronically uncontrolled blood sugars affect the female reproductive system, including both reproduction and sexual health? That sounds like a longer answer. Uh, it's, well, it's not so long because not enough studies have been done on females because they're less likely to present the problem to the doctor as a complaint or even recognize it as a complaint, whereas a man who can't get an erection uh, is more likely to complain. Okay. So <clears throat> uh, we hear about that more often. Uh, and um, uh, first of all, uh, a, a woman with chronically elevated blood sugars is less likely to conceive and uh, if she has elevated blood sugars during pregnancy, is much more likely to have congenital anomalies amongst, amongst the newborn. And um, uh, the uh, pregnant mother who has high blood sugars is much more likely to have complications of pregnancy, uh, like um, uh, severe hypertension, and um, uh, other problems that can uh, occur in pregnancy, much more common in poorly controlled diabetics, um, also miscarriages. So all those things are known, and there are some uh, a, a rare few doctors who specialize in normalizing in pregnant women. Um, as far as other signs or symptoms go. Uh, most people in general, not just women, uh, who have elevated blood sugars tend to be depressed because they don't know where the elevated blood sugars are coming from because they probably didn't read my book. They think it's just happening to them and everything their doctors tell them uh, uh, is useless. Uh, what they tell them to do doesn't work, makes things worse. So they get depressed, and um, uh, depressed people are uh, less likely to uh, be interested in sexual activity. So there is a diminished sexual activity due to uh, depression, but also uh, uh, there seems to be uh, less lubrication in other uh, sexual function problems uh, physiologically in women, but again, they've not been intensively studied. Gotcha. 